Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually just doing a vlog and I'm like squatting down on the floor so if you see me weaving back and forth, I am not trying to make you motion sickness, I'm just trying to hold my balance because I don't have the greatest balance here. I'm gonna put my hand here so I can stay balanced for this. But today I have kind of a fun day planned so I figured I would take you guys along and you know, try to keep up my new year's resolution of trying to vlog at least once a month. So I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. And if you stay tuned to the end of this vlog, I am planning on doing a catnip kitty party tonight to introduce you guys to my nine feline buddies. So if that is something that interests you, stay tuned to the end. But for now, me and my daughter and my husband are going to run to an Aldi in a different town. So let's get going. Okay, I am getting ready to go and I wanted to show you guys this. I don't know if you can see the rainbows or if it's just coming across as like um, light, but these are actually rainbows. And I put these stickers on all of my windows and they are gorgeous. I'll have them listed down below. If you have cats, like I have cats and you can't do drapes, these stickers offer you privacy and a little bit of insulation and they hold up really, really well. But here, they are, let me see. This is what the stickers look like. And they put the most gorgeous rainbows on basically everything. Like I have these rainbows here in my room. I get them on my kitchen floor because I have them in my kitchen. So highly recommend these stickers just to let you guys know. Now let's get ready to go. Don't mind the messy room in the background, but the outfit of the day, of course, is my fleece-lined Eddie Bauer jeans. I've lived in these things all winter, and I'm gonna keep living in them. And then this is just a men's long sleeve thermal shirt. Um, I don't know the brand, but I'll have it listed across the screen, but it is supposed to be 55 degrees today, but right now it's 40. So this is what I would normally wear out on my bike. And then I have my hoodie back here that I'm going to put on top of this. And then of course my biking jacket and my hat and ready to go. This is what we look like when we are getting ready to leave somewhere. And yes, for those of you who are curious, all my kids have their own electric bikes. That is how we are. <laughs> <laughs> that is how we are a family that is Carlos is each of my teenagers have their own electric bike. Just got back from our Walmart and Aldi trip, and as you guys saw, or maybe didn't see yet, I don't know when I'm gonna put the clip in, but the Walmart had the whole Sesame Street line. Now these are the only two things that I picked up. Um, I picked up while I was in there because there wasn't a lot that I was really interested in. The eyeshadow palette um, didn't really interest me or anything, but they have this Tickle Me Lip Tingling Gloss in this red shade here. And then their Snoopy collection had a really good lip mask in it that me and my husband both loved. And I saw that they had this one. It is the Save the Day Lip Mask and it is in a stick form. So I wanted to try these out real quick. Let me see if I can open these. Okay, so this is the blue one here. Really cute, really cute packaging. And it's very crayon-like almost. I don't know if that's because it's cold or not. Almost has a blue tip. Smells like the blue raspberry gum. Oh, that smells good, hold on. Does kind of give my lips a little bit of a tent, not necessarily a blue tent, just a tent. And I will say this really has to be warmed up. It doesn't glide very easily on the back of your hand, but it does feel like it would be a good protecting lip mask or maybe because it was outside in the cold, you know, it's a little bit harder. I'll have to get back to you on that one. But this one definitely intrigues me. Let me get the 
wrapper of this. And I like the detail on this one. Now that I have the wrapper off, it does say up here at the top. Let me see. Can you guys see that? It does say Sesame Street up there on the top in really cute writing. And this is the tickly. Okay, so let's see how tingly this one is. Okay, I'm not sure I'm a fan of the scent on this one, but it did add a nice like color to the lips. It's a very sheer color. I'm not feeling any, here it is, it's right there. I'm not feeling, okay, there it goes. It takes a moment for the tingling to click in and click in. It takes a moment for the tingling to start in and my dog's not impressed. Here's my dog that is never impressed in any of my videos. Right, Pooper. Right, Pooper. Okay. So after having it set on my lips for a few seconds, I gotta say the tingling is not like really intense. It's just a slight tingle. Um, nothing like the Too Faced lip injections. So if you are wanting just a slight tingle, this one is a good one. And I do like the color. I think that's really pretty. So now we are getting on to some fun stuff. Um, I do need to run down to Walgreens and get some catnip because I found out after I promised you guys a catnip party that we are at a catnip and I forgot it while we were at Walmart. Isn't that the way it always goes? And I'm also going to put up some um, black foam bricks in my daughter's room. So let's go to that. So this is my daughter's room and we got some black foam brick from Timu that I am going to put on the wall. I've been working on my wall in my room with white brick, which I'll show you guys when I'm done with this. But um, we had gotten this black brick thinking we were going to use it in the library, decided it was too dark. And my daughter who likes a dark room decided she wanted it. So let's get to bricking. back. Me and my daughter just rode our bikes down to Target to pick up the catnip for tonight's catnip party, but my husband did finish out the black brick and I wanted to show you how it turned out. So she now ha So she now has a black brick accent wall going on here. So while it does look brown in this for some reason it is black and there's a chair rail here which is why we stopped there but this is foam even though it looks like brick really nice you guys like i said i did my bedroom in white and i will show that to you in just a second so on this roll in my bedroom we did the uh white brick which I think looks very striking with the black, uh, not black, the dark wood panels there. So that is the white brick in case you guys were curious. <sighs> okay, here we go for our catnip party. And I will introduce you guys to most of my cats if they all come out. Let's get you set up and have some fun. Yes. 
so the blonde one right there rolling around is Nini. This black and white one over here is Katten. This one in front of us here is Miss Hallie. This one over here, that is Chip, the little bit, and he is the baby of the group. So this one here is Mr. Cuddles. The fluffy black and white one back there is Loki. This one here is Mocha. This one over here is Rory. She's one of our oldest cats. I believe she's 13. Okay, so the dog just ran through barking and the cat scattered everywhere. So the um, catnip party is over. I'm going to clean up this um, room and start some dinner and I will see you guys later. This here is our oldest cat. She is 17 years old now. So she was not at the catnip party. She does not really leave this room very often, but I did want to introduce her, you to her. So where I swept up is um, right dispersed across the floor. Well, good morning, everybody. Right now I'm getting ready with the Riviera palette and I'm getting um, ready to film a video that I'm hoping you guys will really enjoy. I, you'll get to meet my, uh, well at least two of my teenagers in the video and my husband and I'm really excited to do this video. I think it will be informative for you guys. Hopefully you'll get some useful information out of it, but I, I'm a little bit worried about putting it up on my channel because it is one about biking and they don't tend to do the greatest on my channel, but I really enjoy making that kind of content. So I'm going to uh, do the video and just see how it goes. So I am going to finish getting ready using this palette. And if you guys were curious, I just used the estate shade there. And then I'm going to get to filming this new video. So let's get going. Okay, we're done. Let's get to filming the next video. And I'm actually expecting um, my Ulta orders for the 21 Days of Beauty. So I think I'm probably going to do that unboxing here in this vlog just so it can be out of the way and I don't have to um, worry about doing that in a separate video. So I'm going to do that unboxing and then that'll probably be the end of this vlog. So let's jump forward to the Ulta unboxing. Okay, so the mail has delivered my first few Ulta packages, which looks like a lot but it's not really and unfortunately i think <laughs> i ordered a couple candles and i think they came broken so i'm gonna start with this which doesn't sound broken and i don't know which one of these is for which day but oh okay so this is the for the first one i got the tarte a double duty a face a tape foundation and i got the shade 12 in right there and then I did get two MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pots in Painterly and Princess Cut. But that is all that I got for the first day. And this one sounds broke. Okay, let's see what we got. It smells good. Does it count? The candle smells good. Okay, 
So Ulta, can we talk about the fact that you literally sent me candles that were not wrapped in bubble wrap or anything and they're now shattered? Like completely shattered. I don't even want to touch this. I'm just going to return that to the store. Really? But same positive because I got another one. So let me go ahead and open this up. And I believe this is the one I placed before the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty because I kind of needed some of this stuff. So, see, they included air riders in this one, but they couldn't do that in the other one. Okay, so this is what I placed the order for, and it is a dry shampoo. It's a texturizing dry shampoo, so this is the actual reason that I placed this order. And then I got the Good Molecules Glycolic Exfoliating Toner. I wanted to try this. My skin has gotten really, really dry and it's kind of getting textury, so I wanted to try that out. And then, um, this is the Undone Beauty and this is the Light on Lip in 855 Royal Red. And then I got I wear Kiss or Impress, let me say they're Impress, um, nails, and these were on sale for $4.50, $4.70, but I really like this type, they're just plain simple ones, and to have one I don't feel like putting on like, you know, springtime ones, because it's not springtime. Okay, and then I got an Essence Juicy Balm Shiny Lip Gloss. And then the Color Pop Color Stick in the shade Vista, which is a green. And then the Color Pop Color Stick in the shade Hummingbird, which is a teal. And I got this Revlon one. Now this one color of this Revlon lipstick was on sale and I am intrigued. I've not tried any Revlon um, lip products in a while, so I wanted to try this out. And yes, I'm totally doing this with a... Come on. Yes, I totally just did that with scissors. Open scissors with that. There we go. Oh, oh, that's a pretty color. Oh yeah. Okay, so this is the Revlon um, super lustrous lipstick and it is in the shade show off in a matte shade but it's super lustrous okay I'm swatching this now and I'm, it's matte with a sheen like it looks matte and then when you tilt it slightly it's sheeny very interesting hmm okay I'm, I can't wait to try that, that one out. And then I also got the, let's see here, this is the Lottie London Cloud Color Long Wear Matte Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Sky Blue because I wanted to try that out. And that is all that was for this order. And this order was placed before Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. Now today when I went out, I did stop by Marshalls and Marshalls did have the MAC eyeshadow in the shade Hoodwinked, which I did want to try. And my target, you guys, has the brand new um, Essence Baby Got Brow eye pencils on clearance for $3.49. So I did pick up one of those. So that is it. That is my big Ulta haul, at least to start with. I haven't placed an order since then, so we'll see how that goes. And I'm really annoyed about that candle but that's okay so i think i'm going to end this vlog here and i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did if you would go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content and i will see you guys in the next one bye